Hi, and welcome to Only One Truth Ministries. It's great to be with you, and I want to talk to you about something really special today. What is a true believer? A lot of people say they're believers, but what is a true believer according to the scriptures? Some quote John, Romans chapter 10, it talks about in verse 9, it says, He who believes on the Son of God, you know that he's a believer. And if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, that they're a believer. Well, that's true, except that they don't finish the verse. Because that belief, it says, is he believes unto righteousness. So if a person is believing unto righteousness, which is holiness, which is blameless before God, then that person is living a holy and righteous life, and he's not walking in sin. See, the scripture says in 1 John chapter 5, it says that he that overcomes, he that believes that Jesus is the Son of God, overcomes the world. Now, I want to put you through a little test, okay? I want you to look at John chapter 10. First of all, Jesus says, I am the door, and my sheep hear my voice. Now, sheep we see in the scriptures as be, being those that follow him. He says, my sheep hear my voice, and a stranger's voice they will not follow. I want to ask you something today. Whose voice are you following? Are you following the voice that perhaps comes into your mind and tells you different things, and you just follow and do whatever it says? See, the stranger's voice, if you're following the stranger's voice, then that means you're sinning. But you're following this, the Son of God, the shepherd, following the true shepherd, then you're not going to sin because my sheep hear my voice. Listen to that clearly. He says, verse 7, he says, Verily, verily, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. And he says, And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he, get, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of a stranger. So you follow the Lord, the only voice you're going to listen to is the Lord. If you're listening to any other voice, then you're not a sheep. You're not a believer. Because you're listening to that voice that comes in your head. Let me give you a first instance. That voice that comes in your head tells you to look at that porn. Is that the voice of the Lord? Some people just break it down. If we listen to a voice and a, and a voice comes in your head to lie to somebody about something that you, that you said, that you're saying was not true, true, whatever, is that the Lord? You're living with another woman or living with another man. Are you listening to the voice of the Lord? Or is that a stranger's voice? Or maybe even your own voice? But you see, it says here, he said, verse 27, he says, my sheep, hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. I want to give you something about I know them. You remember in John, in Matthew chapter 7, when Jesus said to him, he said, uh, he said, you will say in that last day, he says, Lord, have we not cast out devils in your name? Have we not prophesied in your name? Have we not done all these wonderful miracles? And he says, and then there will be those that say, say this, and the Lord will say to them, depart from me. I never knew you. But you see here, it's saying, I know them. Why did he not know those that were doing all those miracles? He says, depart from me. I never knew you, you workers of iniquity. Iniquity is an old Greek, old word for sin. They still had sin in their life, even though they was doing all these things. And some people say, oh, just look at what I'm doing. I'm doing all these wonderful things. But see, they didn't make it because they didn't know it. But the sheep know him, and he knows the sheep. But if you listen to the stranger's voice, then you're, you're not listening to the Lord. You listen to the devil. You say you're following him. And he says those who sin are of the devil in 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. But those who do righteousness are righteous as he is righteous in 1 John 3 and 7. So by this, we know who the children of God are and the children of the devil, 1 John 3, 9, 3, 8 says. Those who sin are of the devil and those who walk in righteousness are of the Lord. My sheep hear my voice. Very simple. You don't have to go any further than So no wonder a lot of people say, he says at verse 28, I give, I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of the hand. Some people use that and say, see there, you can never be plucked out if you're following him. If you're sinning, you're not following the Lord. You don't know the Lord, and the Lord doesn't know you. 
It's proof of it is in Matthew 7, what we just said. But the proof, if you're walking in Christ and if you're a true sheep, is you're hearing his voice, you're listening to his voice, you're not listening to the stranger's voice, so therefore you're no longer sinning. Simple, isn't it? Real simple. All you have to do is just do what the Word of God says. Don't eliminate. Don't listen to that person, that pastor, that whoever's telling you that you're okay and you sin. Because you know what? You're not. The Bible says to awake to righteousness and quit sinning in 1 Corinthians 15, 34. You need to take heed. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19, let everyone who says they're a Christian quit sinning. Why do you want to do away with those verses? Why do you want to eliminate that thing? Well, I'm just covered with Jesus. That, the Bible doesn't say that. Wake up, Paul wrote, and quit that. You want to be a sheep or you want to be a goat? What are you right now? Are you a sheep or are you a goat? Are you listening to his voice and he knows you and you're not sinning? Or are you listening to the stranger's voice? Simple. God bless you. I hope you take heed to this and I hope it turns your life around. God bless you. See you next time. Be sure to click the button below for notifications and hit the button for subscribe because we got upcoming videos I think you'll really enjoy and that will help you to have eternal life. That's our goal. God bless you.